You're listening to Groundwire, available at groundwirenews.ca and broadcasting from your local community radio station. You just heard Sometimes by Isquay. Now it's time for our feature stories. Algonquins from Barrier Lake have set up a land defenders camp to protect the land from mining. Darren Sutherland, host of The Circle on CHUO, interviewed Barrier Lake community member Norm Machawan. We have a, a camp set up on our territory to oppose the mining that's going to happen in the Parc de la Variandry, which is three, three and a half hours uh, north of Ottawa. If this mining comes through, it's going to contaminate our lakes and waters which connect to the Ottawa River and which will flow down here in Ottawa. It's not only my community or the Algonquins of Barrier Lake that are going to be impacted by this but you know the whole uh, Ottawa River watershed that's going to be impacted and my community is uh, set up right now to uh, to stop the drilling process that's going to be taking place until April 2017. The mining uh, on the territory has been under suspension since 2011. Oh, wow. But it was in 2010 we found out through the Mining Watch Canada that there was going to be a potential mining in the territory. So we we did check it out right away. We did not waste any time. And when we did check it out, it was in the heart of our traditional territory. And we have a lot of users on our territory, you know, not only us, but we have uh, different communities, our neighboring Algonquin communities that use the the territory as well and uh, the the non-native hunters and you know we're trying to preserve the the wildlife reserve for for all our users we're not going to let copper one company bury our identity alive you know because much of our identity comes from the land our language our culture our teachings it's going to be a huge uh, a huge loss for the community and a huge loss for, you know, for for this country to lose such a great uh, wildlife habitat. You aren't necessarily opposed to development. You just want it done in a respectful, uh, sustainable way. Yes. Well, in Quebec, you know, there's no process in place for a consultation with the First Nation community. They just go online and they 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 stake a claim through the Google Earth. Oh, and there's no there's no consulting us, you know, <clears throat> and you know we would have uh, never agreed anyway, you know, because it was right in the heart of our traditional territory where yeah. more than twenty five families will be impacted, and you know a lot of lakes, a lot of river systems where uh, the sturgeons rely on, mm-hmm. and you know the people rely on that, the animals, everything, you know, everybody needs water including Trudeau and uh, Premier Couillard. And CKCU's Roots Radio interviewed Chief KC Rat. Uh, basically, right now, we have uh, you know, uh, some uh, families that are camped out near uh, Junction uh, 29, which leads to the uh, where Copper One has a claim on the territory for an 80-kilometer-wide uh, uh, mining activity that they want to uh, you know, do in our, in our territory. So uh, right now we're trying to uh, make sure that the, the drilling of the um, the exploration drilling does not happen within the territory, for uh, for whatever reason, and um, right right now uh, uh, Copper One says the Copper One and MNR have said that uh, there is no drilling at the moment or no permits have been issued, uh, and uh, which is good news for us. Uh, you know, you have have a long history of combating uh, resource extraction industries and the province. So, who's who's all implicated involved? You mentioned you mentioned Copper One, uh, but is is that the only kind of player in this? Well, right now we have uh, <clears throat> fourteen uh, fourteen mining companies that want to uh, do uh, uh, exploration drills in our uh, territory. So we're out there uh, making sure that this does not happen. Uh, we have people. Uh, you know, taking rides into the territory uh, on these locations, making sure that uh, you know, no one is there uh, doing these activities. And uh, and if they are found to be at the uh, at these locations, uh, the community will go over to that place and uh, ask them to leave the territory and make sure that they don't come back in the future. Because you know, we don't want no mining in our territory. 
you know, if there's any mining in our territory, I mean, it's just going to devastate the community because our people still use and occupy the land uh, that is uh, recognized as the trilateral agreement. Thank you to Braden Alexander for producing that report.